Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and today we're gonna be playing some of the Alchemist Code. So we got some new stuff. So we got a new banner with this cool-looking character on it. There's a spy. Let's see what else. He has a jumping attack, so I'm guessing Dragon Cavalier. Uh, Shadow Assassin. Okay. Yeah, Dragon Cavalier. Okay, so he's basically more like a more mobile Zangetsu. That's at least what I'm going to go for. And say, he, he just seems that way at best. Just a more mobile Zangetsu. That's pretty much all he has going. But he's not as powerful as Zangetsu. He's just faster. Just because he'll he'll get hurricane. He also gave us some more rewards, but first things first, you guys already know what we're about to do. Give give me my mementos. I need those. Oh, I got a new one. What is it though? Oh, let, let me turn down this a little bit. There we go. Ah, a red one. Thank you. I was not trying to click the screen, but you know, hey. <laughs> I had to adjust the sound somehow. Okay, what is it? Ah, it's a um, Rouse. You know, I don't use Rouse, so. Not really good for me. I think I already have that one, right? And these are just normal units. Okay. Cool, cool. Oh, he also gets a skin with it. But what's up with the weapons? So this is raises resist for strike and slash damage. For the whole map, okay. Zorg's jewels from the enemy for a bow wise. Alright. Oh no, that's a staff. I thought it was a bow. Okay, so what's the other weapons? Man, they look alright. I don't I don't know if I wanna like go for them though. But you have a chance of getting jewelry gin for one turn. So that's pretty dope. But that's off a basic hit. So that could be pretty decent. Alright. So let's go back into our rewards and see what they threw at us. Nah, that's just my stuff getting converted. Gold. Some enlightenment coins, jobs. So I think we just got like warrior. Yeah, warrior enhancement. I'm gonna use that for a speaker. Make speaker just more powerful. And the shop has been reset. Well, the special shops inside of the secret shop. I have enlightenment. And we also have a character selector. I thought about this, uh, I think out of all these, I'm going to go for Balt, just because he's not farmable, and I want as many shards for him as I can get, so he'll probably be 82 once I'm done, and get these. Cause they give you like yeah 25 but that's just me I'm gonna go for those for you guys you should probably go for a character that's either not farmable or a character that you guys are looking forward to get more bald shards
Actually, I could make him 83 soon. And they also give us some selectors for uh, elements. Hmm. Don't have any for dark because I'm trying to finish. Uh, I got a lot of for fire. I'm trying to finish soul. So I'm going to go ahead and take dark. I think my soul will be like level 80. 83? Of 83. I'm gonna go back and confirm that. Yeah, level 83. So I got a new memento for him. As for this, this thing is now done. And I can get those apples off here. Oh, I thought I could get those apples off you. Yeah. I guess that's just limit breaking. Alright. I thought that was how it works, but no. You still gotta do the whole uh, fight everything. That's annoying. Thought at least if you max out like these little star things right here, you would get it automatically, but Nah. Wait, no, that because that's how it worked with um Hold on a second. No, nah, I don't think it is. Okay. I guess that one just maxed out. When well, you did it the first time. My bad, I was thinking, like, way ahead. But I do have Rao, right? Because I want to see the skin on him. And see how it looks. Okay, I do. I had a lot of shards for him, too. Where is the skin? There it is. Meh. He look alright. Personally, not a huge fan of it, but it looks alright. I thought about bringing up Raul, but nah. I think the the archer I'm gonna bring up is this one. So all I need is her enhancement. Dude, enhancements eat up so much of my material, it's insane. Hmm. I mean, this one gives evasion, so... Well, this one gives a lot more attack. Oh, yeah, I haven't finished those weapons. I need to go back and do that. I completely forgot about those. We're just going to put this one on. Just for now. I like her mostly, but it's just because she has the jewel destruction thing. And if I can get rid of jewels in PvP, that's fantastic. But I also need to look at what Spica has. There's no new events or anything like that. So, yeah, feels bad. They're just new characters and new enhances. And probably new alignments.
So yours is that one. Okay. So for what I see about Spika, she has a lot of good skills. Like even even when I reacts to skills. Like she gets a lot. It's gonna be fun farming all these enlightenments. Well, all these enlightenments and all these freaking uh enhanced gears. There we go. I think I have all the res no, no I don't. I don't think I have all the resources now to think about it. Okay, I can only get seven. Then what am I missing? Well, I'm missing s lances? What? I finally ran out of lances. What the hell is wrong with me? I cannot believe that. Well, since that's the case, devs, if you could bring back the times two resources again. Oh, never mind. You guys do have it. <laughs> I spoke too soon. You magnificent people. So pretty much how I farm, I guess I'll just do it as an example instead of just going to go buy them inside a secret shop. How I get my material is multiple different ways. So the first way I normally do, if I'm desperate for just like one item, I would find a stage that only has two items. I think I've done this before, but just in case, because we are pretty far in the episodes. This one has three. This one has three. I'll explain afterwards of the second method I look for too. This one also has three and nothing I need. Okay, but this one also has three, but if I needed the staff to the right of it, I would also just farm here. So if you have a place with like at least two or three items that you need, just farm it. Doesn't matter if it's just like at least three. Or if you're really desperate for just that one item, just just look for a two, which I know this Lance has a two, right? If I remember correctly, it has a two. That's not it. Because I haven't had to get lances in like a long time. Yeah, here's a two. So this would be one of the places like you want to go to if you're desperately in need of the item. Or you can keep looking and seeing if there is any other combinations that you need. Like, let's say, oh, there's another two. To be honest, I would farm that one instead because I do kind of need those pins. I would say keep looking through the stages because you could find some like pretty rare, rare stuff that you'll probably need. Like that's a good place to farm if you guys need. Uh, I think that's four twin swordsmen. Like here, here we go. I can do with some of these masks and some of those uh necklaces. I'm gonna farm here. So this is definitely crucial when it comes to like times two equipment just because you want to get the most out of it I thought times two was going on I said times two equipment well, I guess that's not up then I guess it's only for um, hard boats but yeah either way still basically get the most out of it but I do need more lances Which I think I'll buy instead of wasting stamina. But then again, they do give us a lot of stamina for this event. So I might as well waste, actually. 
But yeah, I've been doing this like every day now, <laughs> trying to get characters up. Then the only thing that majorly stomps me is enhancement gears. Because those require the same material, then I just got to go back out and farm all that material over again. Okay, I want to look for some new ones. I can't farm that one because that's not three star. I noticed this game also gives me like a weird bug to where if I was to go back, it would take me all the way back to the equipment for some reason. When it normally supposed to take me back to the available quest here. Oh, wait, hold up. Oh, that's perfect. Just because that, um, that chest piece is here, too. Those are mainly used for, like, seven and up levels for, like, jobs. So this is perfect for me to farm. Oh, and I didn't even have any. Noted. So, from what I notice, even when you're doing two, you'll probably nearly get the same amount that you're getting in here. But you have a more chance of going over by, like, at least a little bit. Oh, what? I'm out of swords, too? What the hell, man? Well, then. But like I was saying, shop is pretty much also reset. Now you guys can go back in and grab all these rewards like I have. Those skip tickets and everything. I bought this once and it was actually worth it if you want to straight 100%. Because this, this is literally enough to 100% one memento. So if there's an item in your mementos you really want, I would kind of recommend getting it. Not if you're like a... Not if you're like a really low on gems, though. If you stacked up a lot of gems, then I'd go for it. Okay. And there's another one down here to where you can get these tickets too. These are back, which is perfect. Nah, I don't think this is worth it to be honest. Like those items are all consume consumables. Meh, I don't think it's worth it. And we technically just got that today depending on which like elemental shards you got. Uh, let's see. That's also a straight 100. I was to say, what the hell is this country thing? And the rest of these are paid. I thought about grabbing this. Just to calm down on some of my resources, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, mm, I just feel like it'll be a bad exchange. What I do want to check and see if there's any more... Like bolt shards. This is the main place where you go to find bolt shards since they're not farmable. I'll take some of so. Alright. Oh, I didn't find any. But yeah, this is just basically me just showing you guys the progress I've been through. Looking over the events and stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't really feel like doing like a stage today, but I will be trying to catch up on a lot of like story in the game. Since I can't really do the story, I'll probably just finish that on my own. It's like the next event comes out. Where is Vault? Where you at? There you are. Oh, 
I could do that. But I'm not going to. Oh, at least, sure, why not? Let's use that one wind shard. You're almost there, buddy. All you need is 50 more. And sadly, this starter thing that I got doesn't have that last 50. So, yeah, feels bad, man. Even though I wish it did. If it did, that would be amazing. For me, it's going to have to be speaker. So I can cut down on my farm. You could also pick Rosa, Ramses and stuff, but speaker has to be done first. Then I'm going to focus on Ramses next. Just because Ramses like, is a really, really good win unit. One, two. That's directly 50. And the rest I can just basically farm. Because I'm in no rush. Oh, wait, what? Not even this is times. What are they talking about then? Because at the bottom it said time to material yeah times two hard quests and times two equipment so they don't have any of that on unless i have to go to google play and update something i'm guessing that's what i have to do Oh, wait, is Moby's Tower back? Oh, shit, dude. I am down. Oh, straight up 500. A whole bunch of resources I need. Is there a lion sword anywhere? Damn. No lion sword. Let's, okay, so it's still at floor 30. Nothing's really changed from that. So they have time to speed for this too. Thank you. Dude, the times to speed for like multiplayer is like a godsend. I swear. It is freaking amazing. I'm going to go to unit placement. Is this the Gorg? Okay, yeah, this is. So I'm going to just bring Minerva for this part. Because Minerva can just basically one-shot pretty much this whole stage. <laughs> well, quite a few stages if I have Envy. So many stuff. So many things. I wonder what adjustments they did to uh, 
Mobius Tower, though. But this is going to be like... Yeah, this is basically going to be like 200 gems a day. With Mobius Tower in his daily. So, I recommend doing every last single thing. Especially if you're free to play. Or free to play-ish, like me. <laughs> That's definitely something you want to do. It's just farm this every single day. Because that's definitely what I'm going to do. Like, 200 gems a day? Dude, that's that's fantastic. That's an opportunity you can't miss. Even if you... Like, you don't have to go further into Mopi's Tower for that um, daily to count. It's basically just... Hit one of the floors and you get the reward. So even if you were, like, a new player... You could just hit the first floor over and over again every single day. Just to get the reward. Because as long as you finish it, the daily's done. And then you could just go into multiplayer as well. And do that. Because multiplayer gives 50 as well. Which I didn't claim, apparently. Psh, my special self. Now, what happened if these things expire? I would've just been shell luck. There we go. Alright, I wanted to check and see where I was, where was I on the challenge thing. I still need two more wins. Okay. God damn it. I normally just skip through them but for this video I'll play it out whoops no I don't want to see what they got Minerva okay yeah that's gonna be a bad choice to go up against Jahar is like really dangerous to go up against, but better than going up against a Rosa. <laughs> so fine, why not? Let's try it. Let's see what happens. He's just going to hit us with his biggest attack and basically murder our whole team. And everybody puts the, um, what was it? The Fiona, like, Memento, the five-star one you get for free on Zangetsu, not Zangetsu, uh, on Roxanne, that's who it is. I was thinking of like a different, like, stage, but never mind, this is the perfect stage for them. Oh, that's not good. Both rock sands are out. Yeah, that's why I say he's really dangerous to go up against. But I like this comp he did. But thankfully, <laughs> Soul can survive stupid hits like that. <laughs> so I was a two word, because Soul is. Oh man, this man is tanky as hell. Makes no damn sense of how tanky he is for a mage or a caster. No, I wouldn't even classify him as a mage, to be honest. Would you? Eh, hmm. I don't think he would. Let's just call him a battle mage, sure. A tanky-ass mage. Okay, so now I just need one more, and that's like in three minutes. 
I don't think I want to keep the video going for like three minutes. Keep like my normal hours. <laughs> I don't need an hour long video of me doing nothing really. Because I'm going to end it off here. Hold up. Do we have a uh, tower up? Do we have the other tower? Uh, no, just Mobius Tower. Feels bad. All right. <laughs> well, we're just going to end off there, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys on the next one. That's just basically my progress. And if there's any other stages I want to show you guys or, you know, go over with you guys and try to, like, do myself. Like, there's plenty of stages that I want to try out and see if I can beat them. But I'm going to save those for, like, later videos when they come. But I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace out.